So when I was a kid, I thought that being a politician was something really amazing. A person gets to be a community leader, or even more so, uh, a leader of the country, head of state. And I just, I thought that they were like these all-powerful beings. And then as you get older, you just realize it's a life choice. Some people decide to be a trucker. Some people decide to be a doctor. Other people decide to be politicians. And they're not special. They're only as good as the actions they take. And recently, a couple of things have happened that really disturbed me. In my personal opinion as a Jew, the reason why October 7th happened, sadly, was because there was a fallout in Israel. Jews of various denominations, I guess we'll call it, had different opinions about stuff. The government and the civilians, whatever it was, they were not at peace. And there was arguments and fighting, and God doesn't like that. And when you give a parent uh, a reason to punish you, they'll punish you. And now we fast forward many, many months later, and what took place last week with Ina Vernikov and what took place with Charles Schumer blows my mind. I mean, the one thing we need to focus on is unity, getting along. They want to make this beyond about Israel, the haters. They want to make it about Jews. Okay, somehow I'm guilty just because I'm Jewish. I got nothing to do. I'm not an Israeli. I'm not living there. I got nothing to do with it. But okay, the world wants to be topsy-turvy. The least we can do is shine the light, which is the whole purpose of the Jewish nation. Now, what's the point of my tirade? Well, Ina Vernikov, who is a self-proclaimed Russian immigrant or of some similar descent, and she had the opportunity to make a life for herself and a politician, and now she's judging the inner circle of how the religious world works when you can't be both. You can't claim to have grown up on the fringes and have made a life for yourself and then claim to be able to compete with rabbis and decide what is okay and what is not okay. This video is not about knocking people. This video is about clarifying people who are knocking other people. There was supposed to be a protest a couple of blocks away from my home, actually right in front of where my child nearby goes to play groups, and the rabbis decided that it would be safer to cancel the protest, and she was angry. Now, it just astounds me that somebody could be so sure of their own opinion that they can go up against people that may be way more knowledgeable to than them. To compare the situation that's going on now to Nazi Germany and to have trembling legs, what are you talking about? The Israeli army is taking their actions to make sure that what happened doesn't happen again. And they are in power. They're in control. They're handling their business. And we have to deal with the reactions here at home. And if there are ways to do things in a safe way, let it be. Where do you come off to have the arrogance to think that you know better than mainstream society's greatest leaders. When conflict can be avoided, you avoid it. Not everybody has the ability to go into Brooklyn College, protest with a handgun in plain sight, and then so-called get arrested. I'm sure that was a really tough experience. I'm sure you spent a lot of time in central booking. Come on. This is unreal. You try to make yourself like you're the people's champion, but you put yourself in these conflicting positions how many times have I personally reached out to you to try to help me with real life problems, not to get any help? And then you have Charles Schumer, the highest, most powerful Jew in the country, giving the entire world the ability to stand behind him and proclaim that we should overturn Bibi Netanyahu after all of the court cases and legalities and arguments and news and media that you all know how this statement is going to finish, that how dare China and Russia spy and sneak in, and we just publicly state it, and now he's opening the door for people that are not in our religion to jump on his bandwagon. Thank God so many wonderful Gentiles, non-Jews, see through his nonsense. The guy was a, uh, 
He was by my elementary school graduation. What was he back then? He was an uh, assemblyman. I don't even think uh, even. And again, he is risen to, to such a great level of power. And this is what he does with it. And I'm sitting here on the 7th of Adar. That's a Hebrew month. This is the month and the day that Moses not only was born, but he also passed away. And Esther, from the story of Purim, when she passed away, and, you know, there was one psalm that she wrote. It's attributed to her, and I was reading it today. And all it is about trust in God and faith and hope. We look to God. We don't look to arms. We are not a weak people. We are strong. But we look for peace. What is this? He's upset that there's too much violence. She's upset that we don't stand up for ourselves enough. Why doesn't everybody just take a step back and not think that they know a hundred percent what the right thing is to not to compare but the thing that always amazed me about adolf hitler was his confidence in his belief system and i think that's how he won over the people he was just so sure how can somebody be so sure i'm a pretty confident person but there's always room for doubt in all decisions in life small decisions big decisions and when you're a politician be careful with your words they're so dangerous this whole thing is insane it's absolutely insane that a man like charles schumer can actually go up against another jew publicly on the floor on the with the in the government hallways for everybody to hear how we don't stand united when that's how this whole thing started and then you have another one you have Ina Vernikov standing there all upset that we figured out a way and by the way this whole real estate expo who's it for 1.4 million dollar apartments in the heart of Israel yes true there's a lot of propaganda all these pro uh, Gaza protesters are switching it around that we're trying to sell Gaza land which is bizarre what about us Jews? These real estate expos are not even for us anyways. They're for the mega wealthy. Who's going to run off to Israel where it's so hard to make a living and then buy these few million dollar apartments? We don't need these expos to begin with. Go make them somewhere else. This whole thing is preposterous from beginning to end. You want to do the right thing Learn from Moses, from Moshe Rabbeinu. Learn from Esther Hamalka. These were the greatest of leaders, and they had empathy, compassion, love. They stood strong and proud at the right times, and they were humble and tried peace at the right times. You have it all backwards, both of you. I don't necessarily agree with Bibi Netanyahu. I have completely different opinions of the entire Gazan war than the average um, Jew that's standing blindly behind this entire thing. But not for a moment do I think I have the right to stand on the floor of the American government and try to oust Netanyahu. That's what your whole career brought you to? This moment? That's what you think God wants from you? And then Ina, this is what God wants from you? To get angry? when you self-proclaimed came up on the fringe of the American culture and you were an immigrant child and you were able to get to this point and then you have something very dangerous to stand up against rabbis because you're angry that we're not fighting everybody has their own way to fight to deal to grieve this entire situation you don't know it all this is terrible this is really really terrible and I would love to hear everybody's feedback. And I really hope, Ina, you watch this. I don't know if Charles Schumer will, although he should. But this, I really hope, Devarim Hayotzimilev Nichnesimilev, words that leave the heart enter the heart. I am speaking to you guys to tell you from one Jew and from one human being to another that your actions are wrong. Be capable of saying, I'm sorry. Don't just be another politician with an agenda and then stand behind it with all your might. That's not the right way.